Should you go on a cruise for your baby moon? I'll answer that in this video. The answer is yes. Just kidding, I'm gonna make an actual video about this. Um, but the answer is definitely yes. You should definitely go on a cruise for your baby moon. And I'm gonna tell you why, of course. Um, so we chose a cruise because, oh, so we went on a cruise because it really fit just a bunch of different um, requirements that we had for our baby moon. First of all, we had just taken a pretty big vacation-ish to um, Playa del Carmen in Mexico when we got pregnant. So, I mean, that was like in January. So we didn't really want to spend a lot of money and a cruise can be like super reasonable, especially if you're not drinking. Not, not my husband. He is definitely drinking. We didn't want to do anything that was too intensive or exhausting, required a lot of travel or a lot of activity. And we wanted it to be pretty relaxing. Like we didn't want to have to come up with a big itinerary every day. So a cruise totally fit the bill for me. Um, my husband was a little more reluctant to do a cruise. He hadn't done one since he was like 12 and he went with his you know, his dad or something. So it's like totally not the same thing. Um, but we looked at a few other vacations to, you know, consider the other options and they were all exponentially more expensive, more complicated in terms of travel. So we ended up going on the cruise and I think we both were really happy with our decision there. First of all, it's like a super value. You get your room for like, I don't know, five days, however long you're gonna do it. They take you to Mexico or the Bahamas or wherever you're gonna go um, and they feed you like all the time. And ours was something like $350 per person. I mean, you cannot get better than that. Like, I challenge you to find a vacation that's cheaper than that. I don't think you can do it. And if you do, let me know so we can do it. But there was something about that being contained and paid for in advance that was less stressful. You know, like when you're constantly going out and getting food, you kind of feel like, oh, we're adding dinner. You know, this dinner was expensive. Oh, we shouldn't have ordered an appetizer for lunch. Ugh. You know, you just have to think about it every time. But with this one, we could order whatever we wanted um, in terms of food, at least on the boat and it was already paid for. So that was really relaxing. The value is super good, super good. And if you're pregnant, you're gonna wanna eat all the time. Like, especially me, I kinda had those, you know, like weirdness with the appetite um, up until this point. Still can't eat like a ton at any one time, but uh, a couple weeks ago I started feeling like hungrier and hungrier and I have to eat like every two and a half hours. Cruise is ideal, you know? There's like 12 buffets open at all times. Um, and I even ordered room service a couple of times when I was just hungry. I ordered like peanut butter and jelly, but it was so good. It was like toasted and came with like cookies and ugh. I mean, you just don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about like, you know, if we were at a hotel, we would say, oh, I'm hungry, well, I don't want to spend money on room service, and then we have to tip, and bleh, and uh, you wouldn't order it, you would eat like some stale pistachios or whatever that you picked up. You know, it's already paid for. If you don't like it, send it back. I did that like a lot of times. Another thing that we really liked, we're contained. Everything is right there. You know, sometimes like, my husband really likes to just lay out in the sun. I don't understand it. Um, and he also likes to exercise. Don't get it. Don't get it at all. There were times when he would continue laying out in the sun. I was on the verge of heat stroke it felt like um, or he would want to run and no no I don't feel like that so I get to stay in the room he gets to do all that and we know where to find each other you know it's not like being in a city in Mexico or wherever you're gonna go and being like okay well I'll meet you back here at like this time or that time or this time or that time you will always find each other and there's just there was just so much to do it totally cut down on the stress of having to come up with stuff. Like to us, that was super relaxing. The fact that they took us to these ports and kind of gave us a little schedule, like you can get off the boat at this time, you need to be back at that time, was also super relaxing. You know, we didn't have to honestly make a whole lot of decisions. We're making decisions constantly because we're having a baby. So do I really wanna make a decision on like a vacation every hour? No, I don't. Really the only decisions that we had to make were like how to spend our time in Cozumel. Um, and my husband and I, we go to Mexico like a fair amount. We knew what we wanted to do. We wanted to hang on on the beach and see some ruins. It's what we like to do. So we did that and it was pretty simple. So we didn't do an excursion 
with the cruise line. Um, they're really expensive for no reason other than the fact that if you're not comfortable in that country, um, they totally cut that out for you. So if you don't travel internationally a lot, you don't speak like any Spanish at all, or you're just not comfortable like exploring, you don't really like, that's not your thing, then totally do the excursions, you know? Those will work just fine for you. Um, but for us, we just did our own thing. Um, in Cozumel, we went to a beach club and I ate like some incredible nachos. And my husband drank like 14 pina coladas and we just played in the water and laid on the sand and it was awesome. And then the next day in Progresso, we took this like kind of excursion thing, like package with a taxi driver um, who stays with you pretty much the whole day and he took us to the salt flats which are really cool and we saw like all these flamingos and it was just, i don't know it was really neat and then we went to like some small ruins and then we went to a beach club and for like 20 dollars um all the people i was with i was with like this couple that we were friends with and my husband they all got all inclusive all you can eat and all you can drink i of course just got all you can eat and i pretty sure that my husband drank like 75 dollars worth at all why not, man? It's paid for, like, go for it. So that was another thing that I really liked is that, you know, my husband could drink. What's a baby moon for the father-to-be if not a chance to drink a lot of drinks with umbrellas in them? They made it really easy on him to do that. I didn't mind. Like, I was doing what I wanted to do. He was doing what he wanted to do, and we got to do it together. I had a great time. So we also really liked that there was just so much entertainment without commitment. So, it, you know, we would go to a show and it didn't have to be amazing, you know, because we we didn't like spend $30 a ticket. So we could really relax and just enjoy it that way. And I feel like we kind of bonded over this entertainment. We really enjoyed the live music. The comedy was actually pretty good. And then we went to some like reviews where they sang and danced. It was kind of silly and we kind of bonded over like making fun of it. But we had fun with it. We really did. And then lastly, like I think the motion of the boat which was, you know, I mean, it's like you're on a big boat. It's the motion is very small. I slept pretty well. I slept better than I'd slept um, in the hotels before we went on a cruise. So we had stayed in Nashville for um, my cousin's wedding. And then we stayed in New Orleans um, the night before the ship took off. So I actually slept probably better than I had those other nights. And this is crazy, but... Usually the baby kicks me at night. Like I said in one of my bump dates, if I like lean over like this at all, the baby will kick me like crazy. So I have to be perfectly perpendicular. But on the cruise, the baby was like knocked out at night. Like I think that the, you know, like the little bit of vibration and the like little bit of motion um, that you just don't even feel, you just get used to. Like I think the baby really liked that and the baby was mostly active during the day you know there was like a ton of big kicks that i felt um but at night we were all sleeping we were all asleep so there's a few things to remember if you're gonna go on a cruise for your baby moon you can't sail after like 24 weeks which is a little ridiculous i understand but these are like major cruise lines and it's a liability thing or whatever so i mean you technically can cruise after 24 weeks on certain cruise lines, um, like Viking River Cruise. There is no restriction, no restriction at all. So if you're gonna spend $8,000 on your cruise, you can cruise it 40 weeks. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. But if you're spending like $400 on a cruise, mm, you can't sail past 24 weeks. So just know that in advance. Um, it was kind of a pain, but, but we just worked around it, whatever. The second thing that you need to keep in mind is that Many cruises will require a note from your doctor saying that you can go on a cruise. And again, this is, I'm sure, a liability thing, but I actually didn't even know about this until the week we were leaving. I saw uh, like a, a thread on the bomb that said, oh, I filled out all my paperwork for Carnival, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, well, that paperwork, what? They actually want you to fill out this paperwork two weeks in advance and it requires a signature from your doctor saying that you're like cool to cruise, that you're not like have, I, mean, I guess it makes sense. It's like you could theoretically get on the boat if you have, I think it's called like incompetent cervix where like you could get 
birth at any time. It's totally terrifying. Um, I don't know why you would want to get on a boat if you know you had that. Either way, you just have to get a signature from your doctor that says like you're fine. So make sure you do that in advance. It was the source of some serious stress. Uh, the week that we left and it didn't even seem like they really cared about the fact that it was a little late um, All they really cared about was that I brought it with me to the port when we actually got on the ship You gotta have that as far as I can tell Will prevent you from getting on the boat and not even think twice about it But once I was on the boat like everyone was super nice. It was it was cool like I had some gender guesses um, some of the staff was like, oh, that's a boy. That's a boy. I kind of like when people tell me that they think it's a boy because the traditional belief is that if you're just carrying out front, like a basketball shaped bump, then it's a boy. And if you're just like fat or all around, then it's a girl. Like if you just have just more weight spread around your middle, then it's a girl. So I feel like um, if someone like my father-in-law, after coming back from the cruise, I had not seen him in probably a couple weeks and he said, oh, that's a girl. And I was like, thanks. You're just saying I look fat. So I like when people tell me it's a boy because I feel like I look skinny for as huge as I am. You know, if you're gonna take a baby moon and you're remotely close to a port, you know, we drove like six hours to get home. That really wasn't bad at all. And we got such a great value and just really had like the vacation that we wanted. And I feel like we're actually closer, you know, we didn't have internet. So it really allows you to focus on each other um, and on the baby, which was exactly what we wanted. So. Um, I would recommend pretty much a cruise over like, I mean, I didn't do anything else, but I can't imagine having a better time than going on a cruise for your baby moon. And, you know, with it being such a good value, you know, like you're having a baby. Babies are expensive. You don't want to just like waste a ton of money on a baby moon when you need to be buying like, I don't know, strollers and gliders and bassinets and paying for the doula, paying for the delivery, paying for, oh my God, there are so many things you have to pay for. So, you know, the cruise was relatively inexpensive and that kept our stress levels down just by not like putting us in debt. Go on one, please. Like they're awesome and bring a bikini because you want to rock that bump naked. If I can do it. So do you have plans for a baby moon? Are you planning on taking one? Are you thinking about going? Have you been on a baby moon? What did you do? Do you recommend it to other people? Just weigh in in the comments, please. Subscribe and thumbs up for this video if it did not really super suck. I have high standards.